Yo what's up it's, e.g., a lot of you guys have been wanting to create a white room environment in your own houses and create a lifestyle that creates you into a productive monster. But a lot of you guys do not know where to start, or what to do. So today I'll break it down. Segment 1, Focus. Have you ever wondered how some people seem to effortlessly achieve their goals while maintaining a balanced lifestyle? It all boils down to the power of focus. Our ability to concentrate deeply on a task can significantly impact our productivity and overall satisfaction. To create your own version of the white room, start by recognizing the importance of focus in your daily life. Understand that focusing on fewer tasks with laser-like precision can yield better results than spreading yourself too thin. Embrace the mindset that less can indeed be more. Now, let's talk about embracing minimalism. Just like a white room, a minimalist approach to your surroundings can create a sense of calm and clarity. Declutter your physical space by removing unnecessary distractions and keeping only the essentials. Enhancing your focus. By simplifying your environment, you create room for a focused mind. Keep your workspace clean, organized, and free from visual clutter. This will allow your mind to stay clear and focused on the tasks at hand. Segment 2, Mastering Your Time. Time is our most valuable resource, and mastering it is crucial for achieving a white room-like state. Develop a time management system that works for you, whether it's using a planner, a digital calendar, or productivity apps. Prioritize your tasks and allocate specific time slots for focused work. Establish boundaries and eliminate distractions during these periods to create your own white room of productivity. Remember, quality work is often more important than the quantity of hours you put in. I'll be giving you guys a routine later in the video so stay tuned. Segment 3, Cultivating a Mindful Mindset. In the quest for a white room-like experience, cultivating a mindful mindset is key. Take a moment each day to practice mindfulness and bring awareness to your thoughts and emotions. This will help you stay present and fully engaged in your work. By training your mind to be present, you can minimize distractions and maintain a state of flow. Mindfulness will allow you to fully immerse yourself in the task at hand, leading to increased productivity and a sense of inner calm. Segment 4, Leveraging Technology Wisely. In today's digital age, technology can either be a distraction or a powerful tool for creating a white room-like environment. Choose your tech wisely and leverage it to enhance your productivity. Utilize productivity apps and tools that help you stay organized, manage your time effectively, and limit distractions. Set boundaries for your technology usage and create designated periods of focused work without interruptions. Remember, technology should serve you, don't serve it. Utilize productivity apps such as Todoist, Trello, or Asana to manage your tasks, set reminders, and stay organized. These apps can help you prioritize your work, track progress, and maintain a clear focus on your goals. Time tracking tools, use time tracking tools like Toggle or RescueTime to monitor how you spend your time. These tools provide insights into your productivity patterns and help you identify areas where you can improve your focus and efficiency. Distraction blockers, install browser extensions or apps like Stay Focused, Freedom, or Forest that block distracting websites and apps during dedicated work sessions. This will help you stay focused and minimize digital distractions. Pomodoro Technique Apps, Employ Pomodoro Technique apps like Focus at Will or Tomato Timer to break your work into intervals of focused work and short breaks. These apps use timers and gentle reminders to help you maintain concentration and prevent burnout. Digital note-taking tools, embrace digital note-taking platforms like Evernote or Notion to keep your ideas, project details, and important information organized in one place. These tools allow you to easily search and access your notes, eliminating the need for physical clutter. Now, let's explore a sample daily routine with the white room methods applied. Morning Routine Wake up and practice mindfulness or meditation for 10 minutes. Review your goals and set intentions for the day. Engage in light physical exercise or stretching to energize your body. Focus Block 1 Allocate 90 minutes for focused work on your most important task. Turn off notifications and use a distraction blocker to minimize interruptions. Utilize a productivity app to track your progress and maintain a clear direction. Short break. Take a 15-minute break to rest, hydrate, and recharge. Practice deep breathing exercises or take a brief walk to refresh your mind. Focus Block 2. Dedicate 60 minutes to another important task or project. Apply the Pomodoro Technique, working for 25 minutes followed by a 5-minute break. Lunch Break. 
enjoy a balanced and nutritious meal away from your workspace. Use this time to disconnect from work and engage in a relaxing activity. Afternoon routine. Spend 30 minutes reviewing and organizing your notes and tasks for the rest of the day. Address any urgent emails or messages, setting boundaries to limit communication distractions. Focus Block 3. Set aside 90 minutes for focused work on tasks that require deep concentration. Apply the principles of the white room, ensuring a clean and clutter-free workspace. Reflection and planning. Spend the last 15 minutes of your workday reflecting on your accomplishments. Plan your tasks for the following day, prioritizing important projects. Evening routine. Engage in activities that promote relaxation and unwind from work. Practice self-care, such as reading, listening to music, or spending time with loved ones. Remember, this is just a sample routine, and you can tailor it to your specific needs and preferences. The key is to create dedicated time for focused work, eliminate distractions, and maintain a balance between productivity and self-care. Lastly, I am going to be talking about your mindset and how you should view the world from now on. To be conscious is a struggle between novelty and habit. When most people talk about The Matrix, they think about the classic movie where the main character is offered the red pill or the blue pill. I'm not talking about this matrix, but your choice to take the red pill to create a glitch in this matrix is more than possible. You see, all understanding is metaphorical. We get hints of truth from watching this movie. We can comprehend the essence behind what it's saying, but the notion of the matrix is a symbol. It is a metaphor pointing at some form of truth. Since the beginning of time, before we invented language, we interpreted reality by recognizing patterns and relationships. We used symbols to represent these phenomena or the experience that came from those aspects of reality. Now, what you have to understand is that a symbol is a representation. It is not what that thing is. With time, groups of people began to share and attach meaning to these symbols. We had a way to communicate. But, people had different perspectives of these symbols based on their environment and prior experience, meaning that they have no absolute meaning. Crucial note, these symbols are mental interpretations. They are mental constructions, a layer over reality. A limit that our minds imposed on the infinite. With time, these mental constructions became more advanced. We've constructed language, culture, society, the school system, government, and a load of other expectations, assumptions, and predictions called beliefs for what life has been and should be. Think of the matrix as a web of expectations that have been conditioned into our minds, so much so that we do not question them. Everything in the room you are in right now has a meaning that you projected on it without any conscious effort. Even the things that aren't in your room, your entire worldview contains the meaning of certain aspects of reality that you have or may come into contact with due to the spread. That's it for this video, see you guys next time.